Hey guys, what are y'all doing? Oh, hey, yeah, I'm doing fine. Thanks for asking. I'm in the middle of building something as usual. This time it's another California license plate guitar. I got to the part on the neck. Look at this neck. That's going to be cool, isn't it? We got to the point where I need some metal to put on the neck. And I, I dug through my pile and I found some. So while I was digging around, I thought, you know what? I should arrange my coffee cans. You see my coffee cans? This is a monument, a tribute to the stack master himself, Robert Reynolds. Shout out to you, Robert Reynolds. But yeah, Robert Reynolds is coveting this right now, but I got, I got everything here. Look at this, a modal, modal smoking tobacco. You know what, when you're staying at a fine hotel with a great cave in it and you have a meal, back in the old days there was nothing like stepping outside and spinning one up with some modal. That's right. So here's some cans. So I'm digging through these cans and um, about the same time Mercury Retro Grape is still going on. So I see a post an Instagram for one of my friends and it's of all these coffee cans which I have most of but there's one in there that I just had to have and you know what I do with these coffee cans I build coffee can guitars that actually work now I'm gonna give you a playlist in case this is the first time you've ever seen one of these I'm gonna give you a playlist start to finish and how to build one of these templates everything you ever needed to know to make a, a guitar out of the junkiest object that you've ever seen and for some reason people like these I don't know why but I saw this coffee can and I thought you know what maybe it's about time that I shared some of my secrets about where I get this stuff and um, it also caused me to think about that episode I did about Mrs. Olson. You remember Mrs. Olson? I sure do. Anyway, that episode was called Mrs. Olson is Hot. There's a link to it right up there right about now. So I found myself in a very odd frame of mind. I thought I can't go on like this thinking those kinds of things about Mrs. Olson. So I need to think about something else to take my mind off it. And I thought about you all and that worked just right, right then. It all went away and a return to uh, some state or something or other. Anyway, so I decided again, I'm going to take you to a secret place where I get some stuff like this. Because it's about time I share some of my secrets with some of you loyal viewers. Yeah, loyal viewer, that means you've subscribed to me for at least eight days. Yeah, that's you. So, look at this. There's so many things right with this. I don't know what to tell you, but I went and got this because I saw it in a picture on Instagram. Now, let's go on that trip. You want to go on that trip? Of course you do. Let's go. All right, guys. Thanks to a tip from my friend, the almighty Nectar, I am at the Long Beach Antique Mall, and you know that I build guitars out of coffee cans and other scrap apparatus and he sent me a picture of some of the best coffee cans I've ever seen so we're gonna go in we're gonna take a look and the goal is to come out with a coffee can that we can build another one of these junky guitars but do not covet this it has so many signatures on here there's Burnsides there's L Luther Dickinson, Low Volts, Reverend Peyton, Catfish Keith, Bob Log the third I can't, Frank Goldwasser, I can't even begin to rattle off how many people have signed this, much less Tammy. So let's go inside, let's have a look at what these people have. And I know you're going to want to come here, but just be aware, I'm going to have bought up all the stuff that you want and just have to have. And I will have it, and you can covet it, and it'll be alright, because at least if you can't own it, you'll be able to see it on my channel. Let's go inside. Almighty Nectar was right. Oh my God, look at this. This is like Coveter's Paradise here. Wow. 
Ooh, look at that one right there. Huh. I'm going to have to see what I can do here. Wheeling and dealing. It's right inside the door, down about 50 feet on the right. They got everything you need right here. I um, don't expect there to be much left when I'm done, but you can give it a whirl. Oh, wow. Check this out. I've got a ton of these, but there are some that I do not have. I don't want to zoom in too much here because then you'll start seeing what's here and then you'll get in my way and then you'll have a Humpty Dumpty have a great fall thing and oh look they even have cigar boxes here if you're into that. All right, look at this. Ooh, maps. You know how I like maps. They hide repaired cracks really well on really junky guitars. Go check it out, records. Chipmunks, Chipmunks records. Okay, forget about the Starsky and Hutch music in the background. They have records here, and they have. Yeah, blues records here. Man, I swear, this is Coveter's Paradise if I ever seen it. Who would have thunk it? Right in the middle of Long Beach, California cultural capital of the world. Right. Oh my God, trying to get a deal out of this guy is like pulling blood out of a turnip. I don't know if there's blood in a turnip, but yeah, check this out. No, that's not what that means. Look at this one. Ooh. Somebody's going to want that. And I got some nice maps here. Real nice maps. You'll see them on the back of the guitar. Thanks, man. Give us a wave. All right, man. To, enjoy it. Come you need and get to come some more. down here to the Long Beach Auto, Auto Mall. The Long Beach Antique Mall. For all you know, he's got cars in the back. This place is endless. Endless. We do sometimes. He do, See, I just confirmed it. He yep. has cars sometimes. Motorcycles, cars, bicycles. We get it all. What else? What do you not have here? <laughs> Sometimes we don't have a kitchen sink. Oh, I, I sense you have one today. Um, there probably is one in here today. Okay, so y'all, I got what I need. I'm sorry you can't have this stuff, but you'll be able to see it on my channel. Come down here and visit the Long Beach Antique Mall. Antique Mall about a quarter of a block north of PCH on Freeman Avenue. Thanks, man. Thank you. Almighty Nectar, dude, you are it, brother. Look what I just walked out with. Yeah, I got a good price, too. I, I got such a good price. I should really go to confession. Y'all need to light candles for me. Do you have any idea what might happen with this? Hey, cowboy, this could be yours. If the price is right, hey, Long Beach Antique Mall 2. This is not Long Beach Antique Mall 1. This is actually Long Beach Antique Mall 2. Get down here while the stuff is still here because I'm going to come back here. Coveter's Corner. All right, I'm going to go put this in my other pile of stuff. I'll probably never do anything with, but I have it, and that's what matters, and that's what matters to you. Hey, give me a like. Give me a subscribe if you have it. And you can chase me down the rabbit hole like a bunch of other 4,000 some people do. Because every week I get tens and tens of hits. See you soon.